All right, let's start the uh, ratings talk here. Raw did very well on Monday. Raw did awesome on Monday. Um, let me get the. I'll start with um, the the major stuff. But um, so uh, last week, uh, Raw was third, and Dynamite was seventh among all shows on cable. So both, you know, I mean, Dynamite that was the show with the the Moxley and and Punk match. Which the match itself um, was over one one point three million viewers by minute three. So I mean, as far as um, if that match had gone a long time, you know, I mean, it it would have been probably it would have probably ended up being one of the highest rated matches in the history of the company, and it was still very highly rated. Uh, but you know that the idea number one, I don't I don't know if Punk him, you know, I mean. Punk is still healing from that injury. Um, I mean, he's cleared, but, um, you know, I don't think that they wanted to, to, to him. One of the reasons I think the match was short, I think that the idea of the match itself uh, was something, but I think one of the reasons it was short was just because uh, they didn't want to risk Punk doing too much too soon before the pay-per-view match, which is the important match. Um, but, you know, it again, the... Um, you know, had they done it as a TV match yet, yeah, it would have um, the ratings of the show would have been higher. I don't know exactly how much higher, but a little bit higher. And um, you know, the uh, the you know the quarter and and the match would have grown, but we don't know how much it would have grown too. But uh, it would have been you know it was already like I said, it was already at one point over one point three million at the, by by minute number three. So it's it's only going to grow from there. So um, yeah, it did really well. Um, and uh yeah so so um raw was still behind raw we did a great rating last week it was behind um an nfl preseason game and it was behind house of dragon and uh, house of dragons uh you know really highly rated show right now and aw um would have been also behind two more nfl games raw obviously house of dragon obviously saturday sunday night baseball on espn and Formula One, so beat everything else, and uh, so uh, so for Tuesday NXT did six hundred seventy six thousand viewers and zero point one five, which is about the same viewers as week four, a little bit higher in eighteen to forty nine. Um, you know, not you know it was six for the night, and it was uh, third in its time slot, which is very very good. So as far as when you look at the competition and how many people were watching TV, NXT fared very, very well. I don't remember it being third in its time slot or um, in a long, long time. I, you know, I don't know if it may have never been, but certainly hasn't been in a long, long time. I mean, it's usually like, uh, you know, anywhere from 10th to 20th. So good, a good number for them. And Raw was a great number. Um, Two million one hundred seven thousand viewers and an zero point five nine. I think it was the, uh, I mean, not even think it was the most successful raw show since the pandemic. I mean, it was not the highest rated. The um, the sh the show the week after SummerSlam was higher rated. The show after WrestleMania did better in eighteen to forty nine as well. But that's the show after SummerSlam and the show after WrestleMania. This was just a show it wasn't a, it wasn't the day after or two days after a pay-per-view or any kind of a major card it was just it was just a monday night show and it had really tough competition because it had that serena williams tennis match and the serena match was um in the first quarter of, of well, actually the nine o'clock quarter uh, the Serena match was over 3.2 million viewers. I mean, and like again, like tonight, you know, she had her second match, which she won again. Serena's going for, um, she's going, it's, this may be, I, I think she said it's her final U.S. Open and maybe her retirement uh, tournament. It may be the end for her, although after her win tonight, she may get really encouraged, the fact that she beat the number two player in the world today but serena's the story of serena in the u.s open is is a gigantic news story right now and so um and raw so raw went against something pretty strong and still beat it beat everything on television except for the bachelorette 
um, you know, in 18 to 49. And, um, you know, I mean, Ross starts next week against college football and the week after that against the NFL. Um, in theory, it should drop, but Ross is very strong right now. I mean, it, it, it should drop, but I don't think that people who think it's going to collapse, it, I don't buy for a second it's going to collapse because it did, uh, you know, that number was so impressive. Um, I mean, it's, that was a, the biggest surprise number that I've seen for that show in a long, long time. And it was really big in the second hour, which was the hour that went against much of the, um, well, I mean, um, a lot of the uh, Serena match was head-to-head -head with that second hour, the first 15 minutes anyway. So, um, you know, I mean, as far as just look through the, you know, um, no real um, things as far as the growth went. Um, you know, the gro actually the growth was stronger from, from the week before among women than men, but they were both up. You know, but very, very uh, much of 14% increase in women from the show the week before. So that's where a lot of it was up. Teenagers really high up. Great teenage number. Um, that was really, um, uh, really a key, you know, was, you know, even out, outside the 18 to 49. So giant numbers for Raw. They got a lot of momentum. And uh, that's the basic gist of everything right now. We got two pay per views. Three, uh, two pay-per-views on Saturday and Sunday, and then we got a, a special event on Peacock on Sunday from WWE. So it is a, and there's UFC as well. So it's a flooded weekend of events coming up. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.